what you see here is the node graph um, in a more refined and user-friendly version of uh, the road tool. So I'm spending some time now to refine the user experience instead of the tool set because it's as far as I can come for now. Um, I want to make it more user-friendly in a way that you don't necessarily have to go into here to edit stuff. You can if you'd like to have a little bit more control, but you shouldn't have to. Um, basically, this is the node that drives it all. And instead of going in here to adjust stuff, fly up and down the graph to select things, um, I've made sort of this little panel here with uh, the most used parameters or the most important parameters. Uh, there is also a uh, tab for export. They do not work currently. I need to figure out how to tie these two different commands, but uh, I'm getting there. So for now, you still have to export manually. Anyway, um, these parameters are very easily uh, accessible to you. So first, I just need to load my dem. Uh, I need to click reload height field. And uh, here you go. Here's the map. Um, and these settings here is, uh, yeah, they reflect the actual settings used in GE. So the resolution is the height map resolution. Height scale is whatever you set in height uh, scale in GE or the i3D in a text editor. And the same for units per pixel. So all of these will actually work one-to-one uh, -one plug and play. Um, but we need to import some curves for the road. So I happen to know that they will appear over here somewhere. Uh, for now, I've made an example of having one curve. So it's just one node that imports one curve. Um, and I have one with multiple curves. So it's just uh, several file import nodes which uh, are merged together. Um, so if I click and drag, oh, by the way, I need to click this node here. If I click and drag and place it here in the curve input, it will take a minute to load and calculate and build my mesh. So this is actually the road mesh I get. Now, if I pick the one with multiple curves, it will behave a little bit different. I still need to clean up the intersections in a 3D modeling tool. Um, but at least I don't have to do so much stuff with the rest of the curve. So for now, this is uh, uh, an easy workaround. Uh, yeah, tie this up in a 3D modeling software later. In the future, I, of course, would love to just click and drag and boom, you have a perfect intersection as well. Um, that said, I can preview different textures here. I can load a UV checker so you can see that everything is fine, nothing is stretched, etc. And I can adjust this road or pick a road texture. I can then, of course, pick different road textures. So you can load any texture from the game, actually. Um, let's see, let's say this one. This is from the game, a little bit stretched, but that's down to the UVs. Uh, you will have to figure out the UVs in a map or uh, sorry, a 3D editor after because it exceeds the 16 uh, tile width. So you'll have some artifacts when you get into the game. Anyway, um, this opens for a lot of possibilities. And if I had a different set of curves, I could just replace curve right here. I could, um, let's actually try that real quick. So, Here's that curve. Um, it's loaded. Oh, I know exactly where this curve goes. And it's uh, right over here. So if you click and drag to load this curve, it just magically appears. And all of this also flattens the road uh, along the curve. Yeah, okay, that's it for now.